Uh, not only is Lesbos a beautiful, unspoilt island, but its people are warm and very welcoming. And Mollivos has everything I look for in a, in a successful holiday. It can be as, as relaxing or as stimulating as a need. Stunning scenery, delicious food, and enough culture and history to keep me occupied if I need it. I've been to Mollivos quite a lot of times now. I actually head for the harbour to unwind from my journey uh, and then sit with a cold beer and probably a dish of Gavros or Atherina. Uh, and it doesn't take long to slow down to the relaxing pace of life in this beautiful setting. Well, this might sound a bit strange, but very little really. <laughs> um, well, not consciously, because I lose myself in what I'm doing. I concentrate on the subject, but subconsciously, my senses are absorbing everything around me. Back home, sometimes weeks or even years later, those senses are reactivated. And I'm once again in Mollibos, with the sun on my face, hearing the sounds around me, tasting the food and smelling the sea. When I look at those pictures, that I've painted, it, it works far better than any photograph because a photograph's taken in an instance and you don't really think about it quite often. But the paintings definitely have an effect on my senses. Well, I've heard about the festival, I've seen the photographs and I've watched videos on Facebook and it sounds absolutely wonderful. And what a spectacular venue, Mollivos Castle, for such a prestigious event. Uh, although I don't usually go away in August, and I've never been to Greece in August before, I would love to come to the festival to enjoy the music, and of course to take the opportunity to sketch and paint the activities, perhaps one year. Mm -hmm.